Hi Divas. Um, I was asked by uh, a couple of our subscribers if I could go over the um, <clears throat> my inventory sheets one more time, maybe make it into a simpler form. I have blank inventory sheets available for you by clicking on the, the link to the diamond painting file in my Google Docs and there are several things. Basically, you if you download it, uh, you can print it out as a PDF. They are made for the size of a happy planner, so it's not like an A5, which is a half of an eight and a half by eleven sheet. It's bigger than that, um, but <clears throat> but it's smaller than eight and a half by eleven. So um, anyway, uh, let's see. I can tell you exactly how big these measure. Each sheet measures seven. Eight and eight and three quarters by seven. So yeah, come on. So basically, uh, these represent so far eighty of the one hundred uh, diamond paintings that I will either be giving away or um, supplying my uh, when I teach. Uh, my adult night school classes with as supplies. They range anywhere from a collection of donuts to uh, <clears throat> birds to uh, a dancing woman to butterflies, uh, more dancers, teacup, landscapes, abstracts, religious, uh, oh my goodness, uh, cacti scenery here, um, Cinque Terre, uh, a girl at prayer, uh, river scenery, wine, there's some, uh, like, uh, some mandalas, there's some specials, special drills in here, there are fall scenes and winter scenes, and here's a, a Christmas puppy, and here's one that is 45 by 85. Uh, fishing cabin at night, uh, Christmas tree, butterflies, here's a special that is all crystals, um, let's see, more landscapes and doors and uh, parrots, more cacti and an oriental gal, uh, peacocks, <clears throat> um, uh, Van Gogh, uh, an abstract hearts and butterflies and a blue beta fish and there's uh, one by dreamer design there are a couple of paint with diamonds there's a couple of pretty neat creative there's a couple of diamond art club there's a five piece lotus there are birds there's last supper there's uh, abstracts in here too so here's 84 of them <clears throat> I want to call out another 20 out of my 400 <laughs> Um, you all, you saw the, my stash videos, which took forever, I'm sure. So what I want to do now is show you, uh, I think Lita had asked me how, uh, asked me to re-explain my inventory sheets, which I just showed you. And then how, uh, another gal asked me how I store my drills. I think it was Carol asked how I stored my drills since my stashes were kept them separate for the most part. Uh, <clears throat> I just took in, let's see, I can do, where's that other paper here? As you saw in a previous video, New Craft Day sent me three and I printed out the pictures. Uh, sometimes you just have to right click on the picture and and a copy copy um copy the pic and as long as you're using it for your own use you're not selling these pictures you're not doing anything else with them you're copying it for your own use only for your inventory system and that's it you can do that it's a a right click <coughs> and a copy image I don't even save it. What I do is I open up a Word doc at that point 
and I hit control V, control view, and it'll pop it up on the, con the, <clears throat> the dock. Then each picture will have like a handle. It'll look like a little black mark. It'll look like the hashtags in the corners, like this, in the centers and in the corners of each area. A lot of times you will find a, an image have, has a big white space on the edges of it. <clears throat> I will grab a hold of, wait, before I do that, okay. You click on the image in the Word doc, okay, and you'll find these little black handles. Okay, all around the picture. When you click on that, you look at the ribbon at the very top, which is that that ribbon of all kinds of little tools that you open up. There's one that I'll say picture, PIC. You click on that, and all the way over on the the right hand side, you'll see one that says crop. C R O P. Okay? Let me get you a little bit closer to this so you can see what I'm doing. When you click the crop, it'll have like these arrows on it. Then you can position your mouse over top of one of these handles, click and hold, and drag it. You can drag it in, and it'll get like dark shaded, you know, one side or one corner at a time. You can bring it in, and then it will collapse to that, to that, um, you know, you, you drag those things into the edges. Then there's a little thing that I like to click on. It's how do I, I'd have to show it to you on my computer how I do that. In the Word doc, one of the commands, the picture commands, is uh, like a word wrap, text wrap, and there's one that shows you the picture in the center and it has the the words going like going around it around the picture that's the one i use and that means you can you can line up several pictures in one one row and print them all out on one page you make the thing smaller you crop it in you put several on a page and then you print them all out at the same time that's how I get my images that I use only for myself for my inventory system. Maybe I'll do a, a whole video on that sometime. I'll show you my cat, my um, screen as I'm doing that. But <clears throat> Ernst Weil, in the meantime, I have two different pages that I want to show you. that I use. Okay, one is one is this one. And I'll pull you out again so you can see everything clear more clearly. This is my individual inventory sheet. I have one of these for each painting. That has the big box at the top that says pick. That's where I'm going to glue the picture that I printed out. Okay? <clears throat> then I fill in some of the information about that. So, let's do that now. Um, and I'll show you the other inventory sheet after I show you the individual one. Alright, so here I have three from New Craft Day. I'm going to cut them out one by one. I 
I do some of this. He's looking at me here. I'm just going to cut right along the picture that I printed out on my... I have a color inkjet printer. If the company itself provides you with a copy of the picture that you purchased, you may use that, of course. But generally, they're too big for these, for this system of mine. So let's go with, start with Santa. And you're going to be looking at it upside down, but I want to do the best I can to show it to you when I'm filling out. So I'm going to take my glue stick. doesn't matter what kind of glue stick. I'm going to take the picture and just smear it full of the glue stick on the back on scrap paper. And glue the picture down right where it says picture. Imagine that. Do that with all the pictures. Three from New Craft Day. <clears throat> all right. And this one. And this is one of the ways, well, the main way, I kept track of everything. So I, I noticed, oh gee, I noticed I was buying too much of the same, you know, doubles. So I wanted to avoid that, so this is how I do that. Okay, so on the inventory sheet at the very top, it says company. That's where I'm going to write the name of the company that I purchased them from. Well, they came New Craft Day. Dot com. This I'm. It's called Santa. Its kit number was their inventory number six zero seven six seven three. The date I ordered it was ten twenty twenty one. It arrived eleven four. That's when I picked it up at the post office. It could have been there a little. Um, a little longer than that and 421 I have not inventoried it yet which means I will pull out the kit and since it has uh, this one the Santa has baggies instead of the strip I will go through and make sure that I have all the baggies of the right numbers um, in there so that if there's anything missing I can contact them right away and say uh, this is missing. Can you resupply it? it when, if and when I do that, I write that date in there. The last date says finished, and obviously when I finish it, I'll write that date in here. The next line on it says customer service. The choices are excellent, good, or poor. Well, I don't have anything to go by. I didn't have, uh, I didn't have to change any, anything on the kit, so I don't need to add that. Price. I'm going to put the price that they would have charged for it, $10.34. This is before discount and that kind of thing. I'm going to put in parentheses promo here. So I know for me it was free. Worth it. Then I have a Y for yes and eh or an N for no. I won't know that till it's finished. Canvas size. If you get them from China, you will have a centimeter only size. So 40 by 50 centimeter. <clears throat> then that's what it says it is. Now, I did not measure the actual canvas to see if that is the, the full canvas size or whether it is the drill site size. The difference between that is, let's see, where's the, where is that one? 
<clears throat> we can measure that right now. Okay, it claims to be 4050. Is that the size of the entire canvas? Or is that just the size of the area that's going to get drilled? Widen you out here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. There is a difference. The better companies give you an actual drill actual drill site size. So this, if I go by centimeters, it would be the outs the outside is not even 50. Just about 50 centimeters. And the actual drill site is should we flatten it all the way out? 44 and a half centimeters. Okay, that makes a difference because when you go to frame it, you're going to want to know. It is 40 wide as far as the actual canvas. The drill site would be 34 and a half. So, is that the actual? I would have to write no. In here. I will have to write no on there. Come on now. Come on. Um, when I say close enough, like 35, 35 by uh, 44, I think was the actual size of it. It's going to ask, is the quality of the canvas smooth? Are there some wrinkles in it or puckers? You really have to worry about that only if it is not a poured glue. Poured glue means it has a plastic canvas over it, a plastic sheet that you can see through. The other ones, when it was a double-sided tape, it could get rivers and things in it, and that you'd have to monkey with in order to get it nice and flat. This is smooth. <clears throat> Correct size for the image, I won't know that until it's finished, which means that is it really pixelated or do you really see the image real well? I explain that in other in other videos. Okay. So I will come down here at the bottom and I will circle. It's a circle. It's a round. A lot of them I won't know until the end. Um, it's both color blocking and confetti in one. It's poured glue. It's not double-sided tape. It's not mounted. Um, I looked at the variety of symbols. They're pretty good. Usually if they're the dark ones, you look for those. If you can read the dark ones real well, it's pretty good. But I'll fill all that in as I'm actually working on it. The rest of it says uh, the day I started it, the day I finished it, and any... It's a time. You know, I'll write the time I started. Actually, I haven't done that yet. I can bring you in a little bit. I haven't done that with the canvas yet. <clears throat> I just put, like, if it took a month to do. If it was a real big one. These might take a week to do. Smaller ones might take two or three nights. Okay. I will write that on there. If there's any notes, like any colors that are missing, any, if there were, weren't enough drills, if I had to contact the customer service, whatever I want to know about ordering from that company again, I will write down in here. And then I give it a rating, a star rating. When it's all finished, I'll give it a star rating. It's like one to three is poor, four to seven would be average, eight to 10 would be great. That way I know if I want to order from the company again. But of course, I don't know any of that stuff when I first get, <clears throat> get it. And let's fill out this one real quick, very quick. They call it Abstract Girl, but it's really an angel. So I'm going to Abstract Girl is their name for it. Parentheses Angel. 
Their kit number is 602847. And it is New Craft Day. Dot com. Ordered 10 2, uh, 10 20, 21, arrived 11 4, 21. What I do right away is I put the price in here, 602. Whoops, 602. The canvas size, they say it is a 30 by 40, which it we know it, it isn't actual, but that's okay. And I go down and say it's round. That's all I put in at the very beginning. Okay, again, new craft day. <clears throat> By the way, if you do win something in the monthly giveaways, I will send you the inventory sheet that I created to go with it. Because I wouldn't need it anymore. I ordered it 10, 2, 21, 11, 4, 21. Okay, they call this greeting card for some reason. I'm going to put tea clock here. Okay, it was six dollars and two cents. And again, I'm going to write promo behind it. Put that on this one too. Which means they sent it so that I could show it to you. And the size is thirty by forty centimeters and it's around okay to match the canvas and I'm going to go back to Santa I will go back to the canvas and write on it it's got all the information across the top here that one would need except for the name of the company so I will write new craft day one here newcraftday.com okay because it are oh I see the inventory number is a little different it's A3793 gotta watch that sometimes I write how many colors there are too but I don't need to do that okay so that way <coughs> Um, that way I can always match it up. If I have more than one Santa, I can say, okay, this came from New Craft Day, and it is A3793. Then I know I've got the right one. And I put a sticker on the bag somehow that says that, too. So that I can look at it at a glance. Okay, so I've got, I'm going to do that to each of these kits. These will then go into my um, another another um, another notebook. Before they do, I need to fill out a um, a category for that company. Now, <clears throat> I have. This is what the Happy Planners look like. They come with the rings. It's like the system at Staples. Um, what do they call it? Levenger? Levenger system. It's on rings. That way you can, it's got covers, and you can pop things in and out. It's got uh, pockets that you, can, uh, that you can have with it. You just take them out, and you can pop them right back in again. I love this system. So I keep my blank pages in here. I keep copies of the other inventory sheet that you're going to see in a second. <laughs> this is where I keep all my finished, a list of, of all the, the ones that I finished so far. All the kits that I finished and, and the ratings on those individual canvases and the kits. And sometimes I'll, you know, put... I'll attach 
like if I had to make a copy of the inventory list and expand it to make it bigger, I'll staple that on the back of there because that's something I want to know before I order from the company again. So anyway, <coughs> I look and see if I've already got, where are you here? I need the blue one first. That's the blue one. The kits that I have left, the leftover 300 of my 400, I have two notebooks full of individual sheets arranged in a certain way that makes sense to me. You don't have to do all this. This is just my own inventory system. If you've only got 13 things sitting around fine if you become a collector like me uh, you might want to make sure that you're not getting doubles <laughs> or you're gonna have to get rid of some like me and that'll cost you some money in postage okay back to this I would look for this is from new craft day so in this notebook If I fill out the forms and I am waiting for, I can't put it in there. If, if I fill out the forms and it hasn't come in yet, I'll put it in the front of the book. That way when it comes in, it's all filled out, ready to go. Okay. The first section I have in here is each of the companies. I have an inventory sheet. I'm going to pull you out just a minute. This is a blank inventory sheet. This is a different inventory sheet for the company, not the individual canvas. The company, it says a company name at the top, whether I got it from USA or China. I will write each kit that I have that comes from that company. And I have my own little system of hashtags here. If Right now, for my inventory system, I matched up the name of the kit and with its drills, if I had them separately. And I put up here, whether it was in a baggie or flat or in a tube or in a box, just so that I know. The ones that I'm giving, I put a little G next to. The ones I found that I have a double of, I put a little D next to. Don't worry about that. That's just my own little shorthand. But for each company that I ordered from, and as I videoed from my stash, I put a little V in the top corner. Um, that way, you can see the Diamond Art Clubs. I got them stapled together. <laughs> um, that way, I know if I like the company, like say, let me see. Okay. DIYDigitalArt.com. I had one, two, three, four, five, six kits. I did five of those six kits. There's one still out. It I put when I ordered them, when it arrived, when I finished it, and the number of stars I gave the final thing. Now this has eight to ten stars consistently all the way down. That means <clears throat> it's got a great average, and I'm likely to order from them again. If I find one where it's only got like three to four stars on average, I'm not like I'm not going to order from them again. I'm just not. So that's why I keep the inventory sheets. That's their only purpose for the inventory sheet, is so that I know if I want to order from them again or not whether I can recommend them to you or not. Okay, so to fill out the blank, stay there. To fill out the blank inventory sheet, again, I go back. The company, New Craft Day. Dot com. And again, you can find copies of these two inventory sheets. Click down in the description box below. And in my Google Docs, you can find PDFs of these. You can print them out if you'd like or not. Um, you can you know, make them your own. Just look at them and make them your own if you want. Okay, these came from China. 
and I'm going to put promo up here. I don't normally do that. And I am going to put baggies because they're going to be baggies. I'm not going to, I'm going to keep them with the drills this time. The titles, I carry, I have a Santa. It's kit number A3793. The size, 40 by 50. Ordered 10, 20, 21, arrived 11, 4, 21. And I'll do that for each of the three on here. I'm going to do it right now. Um, I'm just going to put G card, T clock. And that was a 30 by 40. Same dates. Like I said, this I only do this so that I know. <clears throat> Abstract girl. Parentheses angel. 30 by 40. It's only so that I know if I want to order from them again or recommend them to you or not. You don't need to go through this unless you're going to have a whole collection and, you know, unless you're going to go through a whole collection and not want to order doubles. All right, so I showed you in the beginning of this one the Ready to Kit Up kits. I have the inventory sheet. I'm going to put them in alphabetical order easily find them. So I need N for New Craft Day. <coughs> blah, 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 blah. L M N O P. So before Paint Gem. I'm going to put this right in here. <coughs> it's ready. When I finish them and when I put their scores in here, it's ready. Now, what do I do? with the individual inventory sheets. Well, I have a Santa that would go under Christmas. I have the tea thing, which would go under tea, and <clears throat> angel, which would go under religious or Christian. What I have is dividers, and Happy Planner comes with dividers. You can get them with dividers, and right now you can get them on clearance at Joann's or Michael's. Go back into the clearance and you can get some of these, the kits, um, for cheap. You get them cheaper at Joann's than you do at Michael's, I hate to say. Um, that'll come with these monthly. And what I, I like to do is if I'm going to relabel them, I take a, uh, um, you know, like the correction The correction tape it used to be called white out the correction tape and I roll it on there and then I can write over top of that so this would be my my first section is Christian and all of these were videoed and this is just um, you know uh, Jesus and angels and all that kind of stuff so I'm just gonna stick my angel in here somewhere okay I have a section for those I ordered custom. I have Snoopy and Peanuts. I have Christmas. Christmas. We have a Santa. Okay. I'm going to put my Santa under Christmas. I have trees. Christmas trees. I know. It's, it's ridiculous, right? And then I have Boho, which is Bohemian. They are dippy dippy ones. I have one for tea. Ta da! This goes under my T. Whatever, I made sections for whatever I use most. I have some that are like collections. These are all like Easter cookies and the ice creams and the storefronts, the umbrellas that just look like a whole bunch of jumbled up mess. <laughs> then Zen. I have the ones that are like really peaceful and Zen, like the lotuses and the, the orchids and the... Uh, candles. 
Now, they might be under something that could fit under, like the Christmas tree, fit under Christmas, it could fit under tree, it could even fit under landscape sometimes. Um, I, I would look for it under Christmas, so that's where I put it. The other categories I have are flora, which are all the flowers, um, just the individual flower type things. Uh, some of the, it would be abstract too. I have abstract flowers in here too. Uh, fauna and animals, so flora and fauna. So I have all kinds of animals and birds and, and um, you know, fish, dogs, elephants, that kind of thing. Now, I, it doesn't matter to me. It might matter to you more if you're looking for a specials kit, like has the rhinestones in it. You might want a section just for those. I have them within each section instead. I have landscapes. Now you'll see that I have a lot of landscapes, as you've noticed on my stash videos. So all my landscapes are in here. Whether they are by famous people or, or not, you know, <clears throat> depending on the size, doesn't matter. There's no people in those. The only landscape I've separated out are the cacti. Now, the cactus, the cactus scenery ones, I put them in a little collection. If, if I'm likely to weed out, if I want to weed out things that look similar, then I go into this and like, okay, cacti, let's see, I have a couple of them that have a white background and not much else. Or I have a couple of them that are in pots, I only need one. Or I have a couple of them that look like a desert valley in bloom, I only need one. So then I know which kits to pull to get rid of. Okay, that's why I separate them out like that. Um, or also when I'm doing them, if I want to do three or four of them and hang them up together as a collection, I'll have them all um, together in here. If I'm looking for a painting to do, more than likely I'm not going to look for uh, the company. I'm going to look for what it is. Like these are the storefronts and the libraries and the books. Um, you know, the library shelves have all kinds of fun things on them and the books. Then the next one I have are people. I've got a whole collection of people, mostly girls and fairies and things like that. Um, the chubby girls that are drinking wine or something and, uh, you know, that kind of thing that there's a person in it. Then I have a couple that are like the rainbow ones, which are uh, the whole spectrum, the rainbow spectrum and swirls or uh, weirdness or... Um, you know, that's where that one got to. Why is that in there? It's not a rainbow. It's abstract. The colored pencils and, and uh, multicolored circles. And the very last one I have is miscellaneous. And there's only like four or five in there. And uh, really, I could have put them elsewhere, but where else did I put my Sagittarius or the shells or my sewing machine? That kind of thing. I could have a section that says crafts, but I don't have enough to put in that. What does it matter? Right? What does it matter? So that's my inventory system. The last thing that you asked me about that, and I hope I hope you've stayed with me to this point. Oh, God help you if you have. God love you. Um, is how what I do with my drills if I store them separately. And let me put these away so I just keep these three in a tote bag. <coughs> Believe me, I am looking forward to the day when I only have one of these left. Alright. What I will do you saw on the new canvas how I have them stored together and how I put, let's see, I'm just going to pull a few out here.
I'm showing you a picture on here of the tub and the bags that I have full of drills that were separated from the kits. God love me. Uh, what I do is, like you see on the inventory sheet, I have the company, the title, the number, the kit number, and how big it is. I will write the same information on here. This is from Colorful DIY. The kit number is W1995. It's called Cacti Tall, and it's a 30 by 40. Ta-da! When I'm looking for the kit, there it is. I put a, a piece of paper in with it that I write all that information down on. When I am doing my inventory sheet for the kit, I write it on a piece of slip of paper, just scrap paper. I mean, if I've got from my printer a misprint or something, then I just sort of cut it up into strips. When I am copying these inventory sheets on eight and a half by 11 pieces of paper and I cut the ends off to make sure they fit into the Happy Planner, these are the sheets that I use left over. Okay, this says, you are best deals. Landscape Yellowstone, reminds me of Yellowstone. Um, the kit number and 30 by 40. This one is a Diamond Express Foxy Lights, the kit number 30 by 40. This had the um, the inventory sheet that came with it <clears throat> that I did not save with the canvas. I put it with the drills. Sometimes they'll have a picture on it, and it'll be easy to find. Okay, and they're all the same way. Fan Cells Monaco. Fan Cells Fat Girl Tea. All right. Uh, paint with diamonds, and they're all in their individual things. I have a label, like a, an address label that I put on here. Do you have any questions? <laughs> the, little, the little kits... I just, uh, I have given some away, I have kept some, I still have tons, some from Diamond Art Club, some from the cheaper kits. Uh, now I do believe in the licensing, I really do want to, if I can afford it, I purchase the licensing, the ones that are licensed. Um, because I really believe that the artists should be paid for their work. You know, just like you want to be paid if you would create something. Um, so if I'm going to give the kits away, I'm going to put one of these in with it. May or may not have the baggies. I might keep them for something else. But anyway, the, the um, green boats or any of the other kits. I'm going to make sure that every one that I gave away has one of these with it. If you don't want, I should put that on the, on the list too. The questionnaire. Do you want the kit or not? I definitely am going to use them for my teaching kits because they're going to be new, especially the beginnings, you're going to be new at it. This is something you might be interested in. What happened to that one? Wow. All right, this is, I'm going to, I'm trying to make a wreath, right? I was thinking, what if I do, if I have a styrofoam ball that I stick down over the middle, of here <clears throat> and I have enough green trays I know I mentioned this in another video before but no big deal I'm gonna wait till after I get them away but okay <clears throat> if I do that you know keep building it around the outside of these Maybe I can make a wreath out of it. Glue some jemmy things on it. 
and ribbons, whatever. Maybe I'll have to have a circle behind it that I glue these to. Somebody was making sleds out of them, um, gluing bling around it and ribbon and then putting little runners on them and making them into ornaments, like sled ornaments that you can use. Probably a whole lot of things you can do with them. <laughs> but uh, right now they're going to go in my teaching kit so that everybody has one if they're a beginner. <clears throat> All right, well, don't forget to check out, um, fill out the membership member questionnaire if you'd like to be entered into the monthly giveaways when they begin. Please like and subscribe. If you've made it to the end, just, you know, put a little emoji in the comments. <gasps> put a tired face that, oh my God, I'm exhausted after watching all that. Put a confused face if, like, I, you know, I didn't understand a word you were saying. Put a happy face if it made any sense to you at all. <laughs> Again, it's my own inventory system. You probably don't need anything near that. It's just, you know, like I said, so that I know what to recommend for you, that I know how much I paid for things, so that I don't get doubles of anything anymore. And then I can keep track of what I have and where I have it. All right. All right, that's enough out of me tonight. Thank you for sticking with me. And I wish you a blessed and a wonderful week. All right, stick around. There's a lot more wonderful things to come in the weeks ahead. I can't wait to share stuff with you. Oh, lots of new developments in the new year. Okay, take care, divas. See you soon. Bye.